everybody, I'm Kaylee from Apple Magazine and I'm here with Trish McCormick, show manager of the Atlantic City Pools Fast Show, and Kelly McKelvey, marketing manager. Uh, it's a really big show this year because there's been one major announcement and they're changing the show name from the Atlantic City Pool and Spa Show to the Pool and Spa Show. So we're here to sit down with both of them and talk to them a little bit more about that. So Kelly, why don't we start with you? Can you tell me a little bit about why you decided to change the name of the show? Sure. We decided to change the show's name in a couple different ways and for a couple different reasons. The Pool and Spa Show is really just who we are and what we've become. It's not really about where we are, but what goes on in the building once we're here. And we're really excited to be one of the show, the industry's leading shows representing the pool and spa industry. And then the second part of our show name, which is really important to mention, is the pool and spa show powered by the Northeast Spa Pool Association. We wanted to really formalize the relationship that we've had with the association for 30 plus years and make that part of the show's name. So Trish, can you tell me about the importance of this in terms of the future of the show? Absolutely. Um, you know, the reason be reasoning behind all of this is not just uh, one, two, three different reasons. It's been a culmination of things over the last five, six years, and the interest and the expansion of the show going on. We have much more international interest now as far as exhibiting exhibitors coming in and attendees. This year we have exhibiting companies from Israel, Germany, um, we've always had a strong uh, Canadian following, always have uh, 50 or more Canadian exhibitors on the floor. So um, as much as we love Atlantic City and are not trying to take that out of our, our identity, we do want to project out to the world that we are the Pool and Spa Show and we are open to international, even, you know, a lot of people know us as just when you, when you call yourself the Atlantic City Pool and Spa Show, it sounds like an East Coast show and it's become so much more than that and we're just, this is the first part of a five to ten year plan to take this show into the future. So. And what's the general reaction been so far, the change in the branding and the name? It's, well, you know, this was a very soft opening because we couldn't accomplish, we've been working on this for about a year, but to turn everything over before seeing our, our attendees and seeing our exhibitors, um, it would have been a little, little hard to do. So we thought a soft opening, uh, changing the colors, um, the new logo, and I will ask Kelly to, to talk more, and this new logo is very contemporary, it's very airy and the colors are new and there's reasoning behind all that the font of the logo and kelly can expand on the reasoning of all that yeah we've just taken the show into the next you know phase for us and we feel like we modernized everything about it we really are creating a unique identity for the show that stands out from maybe some other industry events and wanted to make it our own and bring it forward and we have different design elements in there that you're going to we see us use over the course of the next several years that are going to really identify this show and what we do and kind of why we're different. And the new colors are this orange. It's this beautiful yeah. Austin Powers orange couch and right. the purple and we always of course we kept the blue and some of the reasoning behind that other than everywhere you look this season you do see purple and they're calling it orchid um, <laughs> is that we're a pool and spa industry so most pool and spa logos and uh, trademarks, every, every look you see is blue. Right. So we all kind of blend in together and we wanted to really, really stand out. Stand out. All right, awesome. I know you're very busy, but good luck with everything. Well, and thank you, Kelly, for taking course. the time to spend with us and uh, thank you for Aqua Magazine's continued support. All right, everybody, uh, for more news on the Pool and Spa Show and other trade shows, just visit aquamagazine.com.